Silmar, Whittier Narrows, Northridge. We, of course, have had our share of devastating earthquakes in Southern California in our lifetime. But tonight, seismologists are very concerned we are way overdue for the big one at the mother of all the faults, the San Andreas. So concerned, scientists warning tonight the fault is, quote, locked, loaded, and ready to roll. Okay, Cal 9's Peter Dowd is live in Long Beach tonight where quake, ex quake experts from around the country are meeting and sounding that alarm tonight. Peter? Yeah, that's right, Jeff. Right now, scientists from all over the world are here in Long Beach for the National Earthquake Convention. And today they made a serious announcement that could affect all of Southern California. Locked, loaded, and ready to roll. That's how leading earthquake scientists describe California's longest and most dangerous fault, the San Andreas. An earthquake on the San Andreas would really affect all of Southern California. Mark Benthian is with the Southern California Earthquake Center. He and other experts at the National Earthquake Conference in Long Beach say the San Andreas has not relieved stress building up for more than a century, making it long overdue for a massive quake, as strong as a magnitude 8. If it's a long time since you've had an earthquake on a fault, the more pressure has built up, and the, when you release that pressure, then you have a larger earthquake. This simulation shows the shaking that could be felt for nearly two minutes across Southern California during a possible magnitude 8 quake on the San Andreas. A U.S. Geological Survey warns that a quake that size could cause more than 1,800 deaths, 50,000 injuries, and $200 billion in damage. That would make it 60 times stronger than the 1994 Northridge quake, which lasted for only about 20 seconds. The quake was not on the San Andreas, but still killed dozens of people and left behind nearly $40 billion in damage. More than two decades later, are you ready for something that could be a lot stronger? We have water stored away in the garage always, and uh, canned food is always ready to go, but, you know, there's, there's always room for more. I hide under the table with my family and pray no one gets hurt. The last major quake to strike the Southern Andreas was in 1857. That was a magnitude 7.9, so not too far off from the 8.0 that they're predicting. But obviously, things have been very quiet since then, which is why scientists say they're so concerned. Jeff and Elsa.